Hi, John Page here. I'm just uh, ferrying an aircraft back from Gloucester back to its uh, home base at Denham, and I thought I'd show you uh, a couple of uh, things regarding the vertical navigation profiling and trying to descend to make sure you stay outside controlled airspace, but without using the long track offset. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Subscribe to my channel for uh, more interesting videos, I hope, and uh, click the bell button and to get notifications. So uh, keep on watching, and hopefully you'll find it interesting. We have some pretty busy airspace around the London area, and you can see here I'm flying down towards uh, Denham, which is just here, which is inside Heathrow's airspace. Uh, but more importantly for my flight back, I've got two bits of airspace that I want to be uh, pretty aware of. So here I've got the airspace that starts at 3,500 feet above me, and here I've got the airspace that starts at 2,500 feet above me. So if I tap on here, I'll be able to have a look, and you can see the London TMA 3,500 feet. And if I tap on here, this bit of airspace is the London TMA at 2,500 feet. So, if I'm flying along through here, it's uncontrolled airspace below those altitudes, so therefore I need to make sure that I stay below those altitudes as I come in. So here at the moment you can see that I'm at 3,000 feet, and what you could do is you could set an along track offset from the VRP. And out of interest here, the VRP I've got is Lima Delta Mike Alpha Papa, and the way that most of the VRPs work in Europe is Lima Delta is the first three, th first sorry, the last two letters of the ICAO code, and MAP is the first three letters of the VRP. So Maple Cross, so Denham and Maple Cross, Lima Delta, Mike Alpha Papa doesn't always work like that, but majority of them. Uh, have that sort of coding. So I could develop this long track offset from here and sort of create a waypoint at a certain distance. However, what I could do is even simpler is just select on here on the foreflight a latitude and longitude and create that in the system there, which is a waypoint which is before the shelf from 3,500 to 2,500. And then what I can do is I can just tap on here and transfer this across into the system. And there I can see flight plan received. I just push enter and activate. And that will create a user waypoint here, which is user 006. And I know that I need to be at least 2,500 feet or below. So let's say 2,300 feet we try and make it that we always try and stay a couple of hundred feet below the airspace just to keep ourselves safe and also to keep the air traffic controllers without the alarms going off. So I can enter and accept that and now I've got 2,300 feet with a vertical navigation profile telling me and up here I've also got my top of descent that is telling me when I need to start descending to be below that airspace. So rather than using the long track offset Official November Marker Echo, there's a Yeah, it's a little bit of traffic, quite busy around the London area here. But I do have it in sight, we can see that there as well on the screen. So rather than setting up a long track offset, what I've done is I've created a latitude and longitude waypoint on foreflight, transferred that information across to the screen, and then utilize that user waypoint as the 2,300 feet. And then what I'm going to get here very, very shortly will be a warning that I need to start descending. So with one minute to go, I'm going to get the warning with the vertical path. So let's wait for that to happen. Just got five seconds. Vertical track. So there's the vertical track. Here's my vertical path. Squawk Con Security and uh, we'll change over to Denham, I think. Uh, Five to Lydia, thanks, bye bye. So squawking conspicuity here in the United Kingdom, that's going to be 7,000 for flying VFR. However, let's just check out this 
So we've got our glide path here, so what I need to do is dial in 2,300 feet and then select VNV. So what I've got here is I've got my glide path, my vertical navigation, 2,300 feet matches the 2,300 feet that I wanted the path. And here I've got V path armed. Altitude is still active at the moment, but as we intercept, vertical path is going to take over. There we go. I'm going to back off the power back to about 18 inches just so I don't accelerate too much. And the aircraft is now descending. And what it will do now is it will remain below the 2,500 foot shelf going underneath the London airspace. So yeah, so you could use an along track offset and set a certain amount of distance, but I use a slightly different way by utilizing a waypoint that I created on full flight, transferred it into the screen, and then selected my altitude that I wanted to go to here. So yeah, so just a slightly different way of developing a vertical navigation profile to keep myself safe and below the airspace. And let's just watch this happen. Let's zoom that in a little bit. There you go, I can see my altitude select arc. Bottom of descent, there's my user waypoint, 2,300 feet. There's the shelf, but I need to stay below 2,500 feet. And now, just passing 2,500 feet. There's the bing with 200 feet to go, and the plane's starting to level off, keeping us safe and under the airspace. So till next time, hope you enjoyed the video, speak to you soon.